Okay. We are live on our Dance Studio 111 Instagram. Let's see where our followers Hi. are going to follow us. Hi, Addison. How are you today? Joining in, Bianca is there. Oh my goodness, everybody's joining in. How is everybody? Sierra is there. Is that, oh, Kentley is there. Everybody's joining in for our cooking show today. It's Miss Kimberly and Sue Chef Avery. And we're coming live to you. Oh, I'm so happy everybody's joining in. How is everybody doing today? Yes, everybody's having a good Thursday. The sun is shining. It's a good day. Oh my goodness, Avery, we have a lot of followers today. Wow. How's everybody doing? Hi, Belle. Bella is there. Bella, Bella, Bella. Hi, Bella. How are you? Oh, Bianca says she's good. Sierra gives a thumbs up. I love it. Everybody's having a good day. Oh my goodness, everybody's joining in. I think Lacey just joined in. How is everybody? Hey. Hi. Hi. We're making a lasagna today. We are making. Ah. We're making homemade pasta sauce and lasagna. So you're gonna have a yummy dinner tonight. So exciting. Avery loves it. She loves it. So we are ready to get started. Okay, let's wash our hands. Hi, Ryan, did you join in? Megan Branch joined in. Hi, Megan Branch, how are you today? Oh, Viv is there too. Hi, Viv, honey, how are you? Oh, it's such a great day today. Making homemade pasta sauce and lasagna tonight with our Dance Studio 111 family and friends. I've got long hands. <laughs> That's good old A's. We love our Avery. Oh, how about a big congratulations out to Anna Alver, our Dance Studio 111 dancer who made the GCU dance team today. Sending Woo! Anna, congratulations, your Dance Studio 111 family is so proud. Chester, stop. Even Chester's barking, he's so happy. Yes, he is. Okay, so the first thing I want you all to do. Okay, let's see. Somebody's saying hello. Hi. Oh, Channel 3 is on. Hi, Heidi from Channel 3. Thank you, Channel 3 and Heidi, for tuning in with us on our cooking show today. We're so glad you could join our dance family and friends today. First thing I want everybody to do is get a pot of boiling water and put that pot of boiling water on your stove because we are going to make our pasta noodles. So you want to put a couple tablespoons of salt in your boiling water there. And we are going to put these noodles in when it gets hot and these are going to broil on your stove for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna start with our homemade pasta sauce. And Miss Avery is going to finely chop an onion. We've already chopped some of the onion here. So she's going to show you how she finely chops an onion. So go ahead, Avery. Fine. I don't think I'm doing it right. No, you're doing it right. And again, do not worry if it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cooking is supposed to be fun and relaxing and enjoyable. So don't make it perfect. We've already pre-cut our onion right here. And I've also pre-chopped some fresh garlic cloves. That one wasn't fine at all. Okay, that's okay. Oh, look it. Jessica says, go Avery, go Avery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my stove while Avery is chopping and we're back and forth because we have to do this ourselves because we're not professional camera people. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil in my pot. You see how I did that? And then I'm going to take my onion, I'm gonna put it in there. And that's going to saute. You see how the onion's in there? Do I have that in there right? So that is going to saute. I have my water boil in there. So I have two things going at once because we're doing homemade pasta sauce. And what's nice about this homemade pasta sauce is you're gonna have some left over. So it's not gonna all be used in your lasagna. So you can use it for other things as well, okay? So while that's on there, and you want, don't over, what? what don't overcook the onions, oh. okay? Um, just saute them nice, and it's, it's like one big yellow onion that I chopped up. Hi, Sheila, how are you, Sheila? Everybody's joining in, Hazel is there. Ryan is there, everybody's there, doing good. So my onions are going to saute, and that takes a while. If your water is boiling, go ahead and put your pasta noodles in. You can go ahead and put those in the water, and those are gonna be on there for 10 minutes. 
And you don't want your pasta noodles too soggy. So I took a box, one box of lasagna noodles, and I'm boiling those right now on the oven. Hi, Cassandra, how Cassandra. are you? Cassandra just had a new little baby girl. Is she joining us for our cooking class, Cassandra? I hope she is. Oh, it's so good to see everybody. Everybody's joining in today, I love it. I'm sure that Cassandra's baby is making the food, Mom. Yes, I think. <laughs> I'm sure she is. So Avery did a good job with her onions, and we are going to put those in our pot, okay? Next, what I want you to do is take your fresh basil. We've already pre-chopped our, our fresh basil. So I want you to go ahead and you finely chop fresh basil and you want a lot. I got it. Okay, Avery's got it. She's the got it. So fun. So relaxing. Now, I'm gonna show you another trick that we already did. We are making meat lasagna and a lot of people don't eat meat, they're vegetarians. So you do not have to put meat in your lasagna if you do not want to. But we've already browned our ground beef and I use Italian sausage. I mix the two beefs. So we've already browned that. So you can go ahead and you can take some fresh garlic, olive oil, and a little bit of onion and go ahead and brown your meats if you're making a meat lasagna. If you're not making a meat lasagna, don't use the meat, okay? But I like to always mix. So I usually do Italian sausage and some ground beef and I mix it together. So go ahead and brown your meat as well. So you can have three things going at once. You can have your pasta sauce going. See how we're doing the onions there. And then over here, I have my noodles that they're cooking. Kind of want to separate those a little bit, your noodles. And then you can also ground your beef. So you have a lot of things going at once, okay? And this is why I need sous chef Avery, and it's always fun cooking with somebody, because she's chopping up things as we're going along. Are there any questions, Aves? No. Separate your noodles. How's everybody doing so far? Let's see who's on. Everybody's doing good? Yep. Everybody's doing good? Okay. No questions. Keep chopping, no questions. Mm -hmm. Another box of pasta noodles. Make sure your lasagna noodles are separated. Looking. Okay. okay. What goes in the meat? Okay, so in the meat, you're going to take olive oil and fresh garlic cloves and a little bit of onion and you mix that all together and then you can put a little bit of basil or Italian seasoning if you want, okay? And brown your meat. How's everybody doing? See the pasta noodles? Hi. The lasagna noodles? Can I ask some questions, guys? Yeah, my eyes are burning too from the onions. Yes, the onions can make you cry. Yes, they sure can. Ask questions as we go along. Any questions? No. She wears goggles when she chops on me. She what? She wears goggles when she chops on me. Who does? Uh, Jenna, I think. I don't really have goggles with me, so I just gotta. Make sure your lasagna noodles thing. are not are not sticking together. That's important. Add some salt to your water so they she don't says, stick together. Cut my onions, put them in the pan with the meat. Yeah. Oh, it's Diane. Sorry. <laughs> what is she asking? My, uh, she says yes, Elsa. That's what you do. Good job. How's everybody's onions? Are they getting nice and sauteed? Sauteed. <laughs> Just kidding. Starting to smell good. Does it smell like an Italian kitchen? With the garlic and the olive oil and the onions. Smelling good, right? I know, I love it. How's everybody doing today? Doing great. You guys have a good day? We love cooking with our Dance Studio 111 family and friends. It keeps us connected, right? We have fun every day, don't we? Ask Amy questions. 
Um. So I put this in here. Um, does the basil go in the onions? Yes, you can absolutely put the basil in the onions. Of course you can. Yes. Okay. How's everybody's noodles doing? Good? Sometimes they stick together, so you want to make sure they're separated. Okay. Going There's nothing more? happening over here, so I'm gonna bring it over here because it's kind of okay. Can you see? I'm over here. Let me flip the camera. We're just sauteing. See how brown the onions are getting? We're gonna get nice and mushy. Okay. Can you zoom in on our onions, Avery? Is it see? one noodle at a time? Ms. Well, Ken? these are starting to stick a little bit. So yes, I'm kind of separating the noodles a little bit. This is a new brand that I got at Trader Joe's because my normal brand was sold out. So you can see how I'm kind of taking a little knife and kind of separating them. But it'll turn out fine. I'm not too worried about it. We can separate them when they're done cooking. So I'm kind of putting one in a time just so they don't stick together. Kind of laying them like that, as you can see. You want to make sure your water's nice and boiling. So make sure you separate your noodles because you don't really want them sticking together and you don't want them too mushy. Okay? But oh boy, does this smell good. I love cooking. It's so fun. Questions so far? Do you put oil in your noodle, water, or salt, Miss Kim? I put salt. I put two tablespoons of salt in my boiling water with my noodles. Yes, I did. Okay, but I put olive oil. Yes, she did. You can see she did, she did, she did. I put olive oil in the bottom of this pan. Now look at how my onions are getting brown. You see this? You see how nice and soft those onions are getting? And I have fresh garlic cloves in here too. This is what takes a little bit of time when making your homemade pasta sauce. And it's very easy to make your own sauce. And once you make a red sauce, you can make um, a penne a la vaca sauce with it. Lots of things you can make with a it. Vodka. Yes, you can do, like we did chicken parmesan, eggplant parmesan, and you can save your pasta sauce and you can freeze it in the freezer and pull it out when you have um, some friends over for dinner or dinner party. But look, look how nice and brown that's getting. See that? Wow. That's getting really nice. How divine. Exquisite. Perfect, right? How's everybody's noodles doing? I hope they're not sticking together. These are doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, our onions are nice and soft. Show them how soft these, these onions are. So the next phase, we're gonna turn this heat down now to a low simmer. Ah, my feet. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, Avery, hold that. We're gonna take our have been. three cans of tomato puree and we're going to pour this into our sauce, into our pot, I should say, with our onions. But now this has gotta be on a low simmer, otherwise that's gonna go all over. Simmer. So I'm using three cans of the puree. That's two and I mix it up. And three. There you go. That's all mixed. And the next thing we're gonna do is take our fresh basil that we chopped up, and I love a lot of basil because this gives it a lot of flavor. And I'm gonna pour that in. And you can see, I mix all that together. Okay, I am gonna add a little bit of salt. Not a lot, but a little bit of salt. I'm going to add some Italian seasonings. Just kind of play with the seasonings to taste. Just kind of play with it. Kind of play with it. Just kind of dabble in there. And I'm going to take my fresh pepper. I love pepper. And actually, pasta sauce tastes better the next day. If you let it simmer overnight, all the flavors come out of it. So you want it on a nice low simmer. Is that so? Overnight. Okay. 
very nice. Okay, add your seasonings, your salt to taste. You can just keep kind of playing with it to see what the consistency you get. And if you don't have fresh garlic cloves, put some garlic powder in there. If you don't have fresh basil, you can use I'll show you this. You can add this kind of basil <laughs> and add a little bit in. Kind of just play with your seasonings a little bit and mix it up. But this is looking really good. There you go. It's kind of dark up in here. So that is going to simmer. Now come over here, Avery, again, show the meat. I've already pre-done our meats because we're making meat lasagna for our dinner tonight. We like to put um, Italian sausage and ground beef in with our, our lasagna, but if you're vegetarian, you don't brown your meat. So right now, if you haven't browned your meat, go ahead and brown your meat. Let's go back here, Ace. Uh, um, Elsa asks what's in the sauce. What's in the sauce? She's failing, she says. You're failing? <laughs> we just went through what's in the sauce. Okay, let's go through it again. So what we did is we took one large onion and we finally chopped it up. We took about four garlic cloves and we finally chopped that up. Then we took a little bit of olive oil and put it in our pot on the stove. And we put the onions and the garlic in the oil and then we brown those lightly. So it gets nice and mushy. Then after that, we took three cans of tomato puree and we put those inside with the onions and the fresh garlic. Then we took a bunch of finely chopped um, basil, fresh basil, and we put that in. We put some salt, we put some pepper to taste, and you kind of play with your amount that you want to put in because some people don't like salt and some people like to add a little bit of salt. I love to add a lot of pepper to mine. And I did take about a couple tablespoons of a mix of Italian seasonings and I kind of put that all in there too. And is there any other question? Is that it? Is that it? As far as the no. pasta sauce? Yeah, I'm asking. Okay. You're is that asking? it? <laughs> I'm asking you. That's it. It's so simple to make homemade pasta sauce. You do not have to buy jar pasta sauce. Look how fast we made that. We have Exactly. We have some concerns that it's moving too fast. Moving too fast? Okay, yeah, well, so let's just slow down. slow down the pace a little bit. Okay, we can slow it down. Just gonna... Is everybody's uh, lasagna noodles, are they all cooking? How's everybody doing on your lasagna noodles? You can go ahead and brown your meats. I mix my ground beef with my Italian sausage. So go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, let's put this over here. Let's say we're gonna go to the next step. You can start, put it down there. Are we slowing it down? Is everybody catching up? Yes? Question? We have another question, Ace, or are we good? Oh, we have a concern. My water isn't boiling yet. Okay, well that's all right. Don't, don't, you don't have to rush it. It takes a while for it to boil, so go ahead. Just turn it on. Okay, we have time. Okay? So the next step, what we're gonna do, let your water boil. Did everybody find your ricotta cheese? Yes? Okay, we are going to take and we're going to do three cups of the ricotta cheese and Avery's going to put it inside of here, okay? So go ahead, Avery. And you do that. I just, I'm like this? Hold on, honey. Like this? I just like... Yep, yeah, just dump it in. Ugh, I don't like the texture. Avery does not like the texture of the ricotta cheese. Oh. Okay. Hi, Anna. Anna made you see your dance team today. We're so happy for you, Anna. We talked about you earlier in our commercial. Like cottage cheese. There you go. This is going to be the inside of our. Oh, oh, the way it plops in there. I don't like it. Okay, so you got your ricotta cheese in a bowl. We're going to take three eggs and we're going to put it inside with the cheese, and Avery, you're going to mix it up. Okay? Egg one. Okay. Egg two. Last egg. Egg three. Okay. Ow. Okay. Yep. That one hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm and that's it. We're all done. We're going to just enjoy this. We're I'm going to take a little this. bit of Italian seasoning 
and I'm gonna put that in my cheese just a little bit, and then Avery is gonna mix that all up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. There you go. Really stir it up. I like the texture. It's gonna be great though. How's everybody doing so far? You should show them, Mom. This is what Avery's doing right now. Mom, flip it so it's easier. Mom, I just mm -hmm. flip it. She's mixing the cheese all up. And then this is what it looks like with the three eggs. Got that? Whipped cream. <laughs> That's going to be the inside. So let's throw that away. Throw that away, Aves. Okay, how is everybody doing on your noodles? Because I think my noodles are done. So I'm going to get a strainer. And we're going to strain our noodles. So Avery, answer questions. There's no questions to Does answer. Does anybody have any questions? I don't think so. Okay, so we've drained off our noodles. And this is kind of the hard part when working with lasagna because your noodles are, are hot. So here's our noodles. Ooh, do you see the steam coming out the noodles? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna just set that aside right now. Okay, has everybody browned your meats? If you're making meat lasagna. Everybody caught up? Because we have our noodles here. And sometimes the noodles stick together and that's okay. And they are hot. So don't worry about that. Let me see. Let me see. They're a little hot to work with. You want to try and separate your noodles a little bit. Got a question here. How many does this serve? I'm making one pan, one pan this size, and this will serve about eight to 10 people. So depending on what kind of pan you use, but this is for your entire family. Wow. Okay. Well, these are noodles that I haven't used before, so they are sticking together a little bit, but it'll be fine. They're just hot. Okay, how's everybody doing? Now we're going to show you how to lay out your lasagna in your pan. So what Miss Kimberly does is I take my pan and I coat it a little bit with olive oil. Lots of olive oil. How is your pasta sauce? And I kind of just like spread it around. You can use your hands because you've been washing your hands. Hopefully. And I kind of grease it. And then I wash my hands again. Okay, so you're gonna start with the first layer of noodles. And you wanna take your lasagna noodle. And they do stick together, but that's okay. These are nice and cooked. You don't wanna overcook your noodles because you lay your noodles down because you're going to bake your lasagna in the oven later tonight when you're ready to serve. Ooh. Ooh. Is so, it hot or something? Yeah, these noodles are hot. So just take your lasagna noodles and you lay them down in your pan. If they fall apart, that's okay. So I have one layer of my noodles here, okay? The next thing I wanna do Toasty. Because I'm making meat lasagna. I'm going to take my meat and I'm going to put it on top of my noodles. Can everybody see what we're doing here? Well, let me just show you. There you go. And this is for meat. Now, if you don't eat meat, then you don't put this layer on. Ah, don't look at that. <laughs> okay. Then we come over here. This over here, Aves. To our sauce. You're everywhere. Okay. I'm everywhere. <laughs> yes. And then I take our homemade sauce, and I do the next layer with the homemade sauce on top of the meat, like so. See how I did that? 
pretty amazing. Then we go back over here and we take the ricotta cheese. Do you see this? And we do a layer of the ricotta cheese and we spread it around. Everyone you want to do that? Sure thing. And she's mixing it. There you go. Look how nice that looks. Messy, it's okay. <laughs> it is okay to be messy. Do not worry about being a messy cook. Some of the best chefs in the world are messy chefs. You can clean it up. Elsa how... said she missed it. Still working on the sauce. Elsa, you are slow. Yeah, you need to pick it up, girl. <laughs> you need to pick up that piece, Elsa. Let's go. We don't got all day here. Perfect. See how Avery did this? Is that it? Yep. Now, the next thing I want to do, so I'm going to take a little bit of my pepper. A little bit of pepper on top of that. The next thing I'm going to do is I mix. I do a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Just a little bit. Then I take shredded Parmesan cheese. I do a mixture of all the cheeses. A lot of people don't do this, but I like to do this. I like to mix my cheeses. And then I do a layer of fresh Parmesan cheese. True. What's that? Diane, or Diane. What did Diane she say? She doesn't have Chef Avery. I know, Chef Avery, she helps make it go faster. That is true. My sous Chef Avery. So here are... No, Chef Avery. My sous Chef Avery. You heard her, Chef Avery. Chef Miss Kimberly, sous Chef Avery. No. So here is one layer. Now I'm going to do the whole process over again. So I take my noodles. Ma'am, I'm just going to... Little... They're hot. And I lay them down. How's everybody doing? Woo! Separate your noodles. Lay your noodles down. This is gonna be so good for dinner tonight. Okay. Okay, what's next? Does anybody know? We're doing another layer of meat. And don't worry if your noodles do not look perfect because nobody is going to see what they look like because you have all these layers on them. I just want to eat yours because mine doesn't look as good. Oh, <laughs> I wish we could all be together for dinner. Miss Kimberly would love that. But you know, one day we will be back together soon, I promise you. And we'll have one big dinner party. Okay, so there's our meat. Let's come back over here. Put our pasta sauce on. And we're gonna have pasta sauce left over and we can do eggplant parmesan for our next home cooking meal. How would that be? Amazing. We, we can use that or we can do a vodka, a la vodka sauce, a pink sauce with our pasta sauce. There's lots of things uh, we can do. I like eggplant. You wanna do eggplant parmesan? Okay, yeah. we can do that. Okay, back over here. Okay, here we go. Avery, you wanna do the next one? Sure. There we go. I just want to I just mine does it all. I bet it looks amazing. It's going to taste amazing. Don't worry how it looks. It's going to be so yummy in your tummy. Put a lot in. Mix it up because that's what makes it all good. The ricotta cheese. We're making a homemade lasagna today. So fun. You're, oh, Chester, are you excited? Don't forget tonight uh, at 8 You're the best. Tonight at 8 o'clock, we have cozy bedtime story time with Miss Kimberly and Chester, who's barking in the background. I don't know what he's barking at today. Can mix it all in. See what Avery's That's doing there? What I'm doing, ma'am. Give me a second. She's doing good. How's everybody doing? Let's see. We have to do online garden. What does it say? What does Bianca say? We have an entire garden of eggplant for you. I love it. We can do eggplant parmesan with the rest of our pasta sauce. That can be our next cooking show. Okay. okay so I'm going to mix this up a little bit more. Get the pepper ace. And see, you just kind of blend it all in. Do you see how I'm doing that? This is really okay. high up. Do the pepper all over. I love bedtime story time too. So fun. Okay, then we're taking our cheese all over again, A's. There you go. Perfect. A little bit more for fun. Why not? It's a cheesy con today. Our shredded Parmesan cheese all over. Ma'am. 
I love mixing the cheeses. That's what makes it so good. And then I'll end it off with our frets, fresh mozzarella cheese. Frets. Fresh. Okay. And you're not gonna believe this. Love cheese. We're gonna top it off with some pepper. And the one little extra part of love with some fresh Parmesan cheese. Wow. A little wow. bit more pepper. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look what we made. We made a pan. I don't think we have enough food. <laughs> of lasagna for just me and Aves to eat this whole pan by ourselves because we cannot go out and share with everybody. But we're gonna put tinfoil over this now. Put some, oh, little dance moves? Okay, no, just me, just me. Okay, and we're gonna cover this up. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this in our refrigerator, and then tonight, we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. We're gonna bake it, okay, at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And that is how you make homemade pasta sauce, and lasagna. More mousses. Do the mousses. <laughs> How about Miss Kimberly's mousse? No. No? no? Um, Who likes Miss Kimberly's mousse? It's me. Okay, can we go through the layers again? Okay, we sure can go through the layers. I took a baking dish, okay, that can go in the oven, and I coated the bottom with fresh olive oil, yes? Then I took our lasagna noodles, see our lasagna noodles? And I did one layer of lasagna noodles, okay? On the bottom of the pan, yes. Then I added my meats next to it. Then I mixed in our pasta sauce. Then I put in our ricotta cheese here, put this in there. Then I put some grated Parmesan. Then I put some shredded Parmesan, then I put fresh shredded mozzarella, mm. and then I repeated the whole thing again. More noodles, more meat, more sauce, more ricotta cheese, more pepper, more Parmesan grated, shredded Parmesan, and fresh, fresh mozzarella. Yes? Just throw oh, every single, who likes the dance moves? Just throw every single cheese that you have in your kitchen, and that's pretty much it. No, not every cheese yes, in the kitchen, because I have a lot of cheese in my kitchen, and we would have a, a, a sad lasagna if we added all our cheese in our kitchen. But did everybody have fun? Yes? Everybody have fun? You like Miss Kimberly's moves? They like my dance moves, eggs. Eh? Staying, staying alive, alive. staying alive. I love it. Thanks oh, Santa. cute outfit. All right, that is cooking with Miss Kimberly and sous chef Avery. That took us 35 minutes to make homemade pasta sauce and lasagna. That did not take long at all. Homemade pasta sauce that you are going to have, you can freeze your pasta sauce and put it on some cheese raviolis. We can make um, eggplant parmesan. Would that be fun to do maybe this weekend? Make fresh eggplant parmesan from our sauce because like I told you, the sauce actually tastes better as it sits and simmers overnight. It gives it a better flavor, okay? Much better flavor, so. Age, you're so cute. <laughs> I love cooking with sous chef Avery. No, this chef was, Avery. No, I'm selling no. my mom. So <laughs> Okay, everybody have a great Thursday. Thanks for joining Miss Kimberly and sous chef Avery. We are keeping our dance studio family connected. We will be back in that dance studio really soon, I promise you. I love you all. Tune in tonight, 8 o'clock, for cozy bedtime story time with Miss Kimberly and Chester. It's going to be a fun night. I love you all. Have a great... Oh, take pictures and send to me. I want to see how your lasagna turned out. Bake it at 350 for 30 minutes tonight before you serve it. 350 degrees. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great Bye. Thursday. Bye.